Hello everyone, I am Devashish Dash, Assistant Professor of Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department of GIS Group. In this today's lecture, we will discuss mainly on MOSFET, which is abbreviated as MOSFET and the full form of the MOSFET is metal oxide semiconductor field defect transistor. So first of all this is a special type of transistor. Transistor means a transfer resistor which can be used for both the amplification part or the switching part of the application. We have studied BJT, bipolar junction transistor. So we have a fair idea about the transistor, what is transistor is, but a MOSFET is something of different type. So we will discuss the MOSFET and its structure and its characteristics in our coming slide. So, let us start with the classification of the MOSFET. The MOSFET, the metal oxide semiconductor field defect transistor is of two type. One is enhancement mode type MOSFET, another is a depletion mode type MOSFET. And this enhancement mode type MOSFET can be further classified into two types. One is P channel enhancement mode type MOSFET, another is N type enhancement mode type MOSFET and the depletion mode can also be classified as two part. One is P channel enhancement mode depletion type MOSFET, another is N channel depletion type MOSFET. <coughs> so, in this way, we can classify the MOSFET in different types and in this lecture, we will mainly discuss on the N-channel enhancement type MOSFET, which is the best MOSFET to understand with. We will mainly focus on this N-channel enhancement type MOSFET. In this course. So this is a basic structure of N-channel enhancement type MOSFET which is known as N-channel MOSFET or N-MOS in abbreviated form. So this is a basic structure. It has different ports. One is body, one is source, one is gate, one is drain. We will discuss one by one and explain what are the key features of these terminals. So first comes the body or the substrate. It is also known as the substrate which is consists of P-type material. It is the P-type material and it is the basic building structure of this N-channel MOSFET. With this P body or substrate, we will develop two N channel or N type source and den. It is the heavily doped N region. One is for source, another is for drain, and a gate is built up in between which is made up of metal or heavily doped polysilicon. Gate is the control terminal of this device and the source is the source of electron and drain is the collector of electron 
for this structure this type of structure in general structure in between the in under the gate and channel is created when some voltage is applied we will discuss the operation in our coming se section and between this source and drain the length in between is known as the length length of the channel and the device has a 3d structure it has some total length a uh, width and some height so the width of the mosfet is known as the width of the mosfet and also it is the width of the channel here we have discussed the channel is being created in between source and drain and the distance between this source and drain is known as the channel length and the width of the device is known as the channel width so these two are the very important parameter one is length and width which is very much used in the characteristics of the mosfet so this is a basic building structure of a in channel mosfet or in channel enhancement type mosfet is simply known as in mos and we have discussed different ports or terminals of this device and we'll discuss the operating principle in our coming section the channel of this device is in between source and drain the channel is created or it can be operated in between source and drain so channel region is the very important region of this device so we just take out this portion this uh, channel region it consists of uh, metal oxide and this p type substrate of this mosfet and it can be used as a capacitor type so it is known as mos capacitor in one in a capacitor uh, there is two terminal and in between these two terminal there is a dielectric in this mos capacitor there is two terminal one is metal terminal another is substrate or body terminal and in between this two terminal there is a dielectric known as oxide which is insulator pure insulator we will discuss this type of structure in our coming section so it is a very important topic of this mosfet is a sub topic the mos capacitor and if we understand this mos capacitor we will easily understand the mosfet so let us begin with the mos capacitor and how the mos capacitor operate and how this mos capacitor can be implemented to understanding the mosfet so let us start with the mos capacitor so in this section we will discuss the mos capacitor the mos capacitor the mode of operation of the mos capacitor and calculate the capacitance mos capacitor values so it is a structure of the mos capacitor we can see the black region it is known as the metal or gate of the mos capacitor and the green region is the oxide and the blue region is the p type semiconductor or p p type substrate or body so in this way the mos capacitor forms in one section the metal in between a dielectric which is oxide which is insulator and in substrate there is a p type semiconductor so in this way a mos capacitor form 
you can see normally the capacitance value of a capacitor does not change the value of voltage applied across its terminal however this is not the case where MOS capacitor will find the capacitance of MOS capacitance change with its value with the variations in gate voltage this is because application of gate voltage result in band bending in silicon substrate and hence variation change in concentration at SiO2 silicon and silicon dioxide interface. So it is the cross sectional view of a MOS capacitor and we will discuss the mode of its operation. We will discuss the mode of its operation. What are the different modes are present in the MOS capacitor and how it is operate. Depending upon the value of gate voltage applied, the gate voltage is applied in between the gate and the substrate. Uh, in most of the cases in the MOS capacitor, a positive voltage is applied to this metal gate and a negative voltage or the reference voltage is applied to the substrate and in this way we applied a potential difference between a metal gate and the substrate and this depending upon this value of the gate voltage applied the MOSFET capacitors work in three modes what are the three modes we will discuss it is the first mode where the you can see a very little voltage is applied and the electric field as the gate is of positive terminal and the p type substrate is of negative terminal so a electric field is generated from the positive gate to the p type substrate so this electric field from the positive gate terminal to the P type substrate is attract the electron and this electron are being accumulated in under the gate terminal of this MOS capacitor. This phenomena is known as the accumulation mode. We will discuss the accumulation mode in detail. Uh, the electrons come from the minority carrier of a p-type substrate so it is the depletion mode we will come in later first we discuss the accumulation mode it is the first accumulation in this mode there is a accumulations of holes assigning in MOSFET at the SiO2 interface all the fields lies entering from the gate terminal into the layer given the effective dielectric thickness as the oxide thickness is shown in the figure 4.2 it is the 4.2a and it is a p-type material so the electrons are being accumulated in between the in beneath the gate or under the gate so the accumulations happen in case of depletion when we applied a greater gate voltage then the electrons which is minority carrier in the p-type substrate they are more gathered and produce a depletion region in the p-type material in this way a depletion layer is being formed in beneath the gate or under the gate and a depletion mode is happen and in case of the strong inversion 
or when we apply a greater gate voltage or high gate voltage at that time more the electrons accumulated or gathered and the depletion layer is also there but just under the gate a uh, inversion happens that means a layer of n type or electrons layer is being formed and in this way a uh, inversion happens and uh, in the p type region a uh, n layer is formed that is it is called the inversion that means a uh, different types of properties is being arise in the p type substrate so in this way the three formation one is accumulation depletion and inversion these are the three major property of a mos capacitor which we have discussed in this session so we have discussed the basic mos structure or the mosfet which is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor the significance of this name the metal oxide that means there is a metal gate is present and oxide means there is a insulator layer which is known as the oxide layer and the semiconductor is being used in this structure that is why the semiconductor and it is the most important thing it is the field effect transistor that means a field is being applied between the metal gate and the substrate a positive in this n type terminal or the n channel mosfet where the metal gate is applied or exposed to the positive potential and the substrate is applied or exposed to the negative potential so a field is generated from the positive metal to the body or substrate that is why electric field is developed between the metal and the substrate and the direction of the field is from metal towards the substrate and the electrons of the p type material which is known as the minority carrier they are being accumulated in the or under the gate and in this way a channel is being formed so it is the significance of the name the mosfet the metal oxide semiconductor the field effect transistor the most important thing it is the transistor which is there are two tar two purpose of the transistor one is amplifier and the switch most of the cases mosfet can be used as a switch and some of the applications mosfet can be used as a amplifier but most of the digital circuits are highly dependent on this mosfet due to the switching property and the very good performance of this device we will discuss in our coming sessions and it is all about the mosfet for today's session so thank you being with us and hope we have we have understand this topic whatever being taught so thank you very much that's for today thank you